It's happened, hasn't it? It's finally happened. I've been selling on eBay for three years. Thousands of items sold. Just under 1,400 feedback score on eBay. Which just shows how often people leave feedback. Finally received my first negative feedback on eBay. And when I noticed it, I wasn't like angry or upset. I was just perplexed. I couldn't work out sort of where it had come from. Before I go into details about how it's happened, I want to make it clear that ultimately you can do as much as you possibly can to ensure the customer is happy. But ultimately, there are a lot of just awful people out there that kind of want to just disrupt all the hard work you put in to get to your, in this, in this case, eBay shop to the position it's at in like one fell swoop. So let's talk about the item itself. So I sold a pair of Levi's 517 bootcut jeans back in early September. Had them up for 25 quid, sent out some 10% offers, and one of the buyers accepted it. Great. Sent it off, Royal Mail, Track 48 postage, shown as delivered, didn't think anything else of it. Didn't get any feedback, but let's be honest, that's more common than not. It's just a simple sale. I've sold dozens and dozens of pairs of jeans before, never had a problem, right? Normally, if somebody has an issue with something, they let you know straight away whether it wasn't as described, which is infrequent, but still possible. Normally, it doesn't fit, or they're just, they change their mind, something like that. It's annoying, they raise a return, but ultimately, both parties come to an agreement, it's resolved, you move on, simple as that. But this one caught me out of the blue. So, I've had a few transactions over the years where things just haven't gone very smoothly. Whether it's been my fault, and I've accepted that, or whether it's been the courier's fault, or just the buyer being incredibly stupid, things just haven't quite gone to plan, and I guess I could say I've escaped negative feedback in these circumstances. But in those circumstances, I learnt my lesson, I learnt what not to do next time, I kind of took it on board, so not having the negative was just, just a nice thing, I didn't have to worry about it. But this one really has come out of the blue. Like, completely out of the blue. So like I said, pair of Levi's 517 jeans, I sold them early September. I dispatched them on the 3rd of September, and they arrived at the buyer's property a couple of days later, right? Didn't think anything of it. Well, now we're in November. So a long time has passed. In fact, 60 days have passed. And on eBay, you have 60 days to leave feedback. So how long do you think the buyer took to leave the feedback? How many days elapsed until they left feedback? Yes, you're correct. They left it to the very last day to leave the feedback. And this is what they left. Fake item, sizing all wrong. That's it. No message about how they thought the item was fake, which they weren't, by the way. No message to say the item doesn't fit, it's the wrong size, the inside leg's wrong, what have you. Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. So they've waited 60 days to then leave this quite nonsensical feedback, and that's it. This buyer has not reached out to me, like not a single message, just just being completely silent until the final day in which they can leave feedback. It kind of paints a picture of the sort of person this is. And although negative feedback is left as a feeling of how the transaction went, I feel this feedback left is unjust, given that the item I've sold isn't fake, it's certainly the right size. I took good photographs of all the aspects of the jeans, including the care labels. I put the measurements in the description. Now, admittedly, I don't put the measurements, I don't put the tape measure, I should say, alongside the garment to measure them. I never have. I've never had this issue before. I just find it a bit fiddly. So I had no reason to expect this feedback to arise. Certainly not the last day they could have left it, and certainly not in this manner. Now, ultimately, getting negative feedback 
it's kind of expected on eBay. Even if you do the right thing from start to finish, there are still just people out there that just don't deserve to shop on eBay. They're just they're just out, they're just out there to cause trouble. And I think this is one of them. I really do think this is one of them. And I've, I guess I've been lucky to dodge these sort of people for the most part. But now it's happened in the way it has. I just feel a bit like powerless. What could I have done differently? They've given me no indication up to this point that anything was wrong. I still don't think anything was wrong. I think they just left this feedback almost just to spite me, but with no context whatsoever. And this is where it gets frustrating because as a seller, I don't want any, any negative feedback. I want that percentage on my shop on any description to be 100%. And I first noticed this and say eagle eyed viewers on my last video where I, saw, where I showed you some sales may have noticed that it was 99.8% rather than 100. I say when I first noticed that, I just thought, oh no. <laughs> but I could not tell you what item it had been left on. I thought my transactions over the last few months have been very smooth. Items just described to, to the nth degree, you know. So when I thought it was this pair of jeans that had sold so long ago, I was just completely confused and just like dumbfounded by it. I couldn't work out what had gone wrong. But now I've got negative feedback, you know, what's done is done. It's very difficult from what I can gather to sort of rid this negative feedback. Because what they want you to do is to contact the buyer to try and resolve the situation. Well, I'm sorry, but the cynic in me is saying if they've taken 60 days to leave feedback, what chance am I going to have for them to reconsider their feedback within seven days and as i record this it's been five days since that feedback was left so i think you're fine i don't think i'm gonna get anything out of this buyer like there's absolutely nothing at all so what can you do you can contact ebay for business through various social media platforms i haven't tried this yet i'm gonna let the sort of seven days elapse before i contact them but from what I've read on forums, like the eBay community pages, it seems like this sort of thing is more common than it should be. And as a seller, there's very little that we can do to sort of mitigate this from happening. Ultimately, feedback is just how people felt the transaction went. But they can lie, which this person has done in this instance. And it seems there's very little as a seller that you can do about it. Even if you're a top rated seller like I am, there just isn't like a safety net. There's just no one to sort of turn to, to say, hang on a minute. I feel this feedback's very unjust. Can you review it, not the buyer? Who's of course is gonna be adamant that what feedback they left was truthful, I guess. So it's a real humding of a situation. And although it's not the end of the world, Plenty of like really, really good sellers don't have 100% feedback because of individuals like this. But it's just the circumstances of how it's arisen. The fact that no correspondence was received. That I've just had no indication that anything was wrong. If something was wrong, then I would have said, yeah, raise a return. I'll pay the return postage. I can issue a full refund. As soon as the item gets back to me and it's in the same condition I sent it out in. So... The most frustrating thing for me is I couldn't have done anything to stop this from happening. It's just I've had the unfortunate pleasure of dealing with an unscrupulous individual who just kind of wants to wreak havoc. I haven't checked their feedback that they've left on other people. I might do that in a bit, actually. The feedback I did see on their page was slightly like mysterious. It was like the same words, same text for every single feedback, but from lots of different shops. So that in itself rang alarm bells. It's just been such a weird one. It really has. I I don't know. I say it's very difficult to avoid negative feedback these this day and age. I think, and I'm sure a lot of people share this opinion too, that the feedback system on eBay is so outdated it's it's laughable. It's absolutely laughable. Why should the vast majority of sales not generate feedback? Like I said, my feedback score is 
currently 1372, but I've sold over 3,000 items. Why doesn't eBay implement a vintage style feedback system where if the buyer doesn't leave feedback after a certain amount of time, say seven days, you get automatic positive feedback because it will boost every single person's account and give you a score that's more representative of what you're actually selling or buying in some instances. Why do you have to just rely on humans to go out of their way and do something that they probably can't be bothered to do just to boost your own shop or account? Doesn't really make sense, does it? So yeah, this has happened. Like I said, I'm trying not to like get too down about it. It's affected so many people, so many resellers and just businesses across the UK and beyond. It's it's just one of those things. It's just so frustrating that it's happened in the way it has. And the fact that I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get this resolved just because of sort of eBay's policies. I mean, what have I got to go on? I can just tell eBay what has happened. I can provide like screenshots and the, the item number. But it seems like the sort of generic response from say reading forums that eBay give people is that's just one person's opinion of the transaction. But yes, but it's a lie. It's not the truth. I don't want that tarnishing my, my feedback. Every time I log into eBay now, I'm going to see that. 99.8% rather than the 100 that it's been for the past, well, since I started using eBay back in 2018 on my personal account. So annoying. It's just so annoying. And the fact it stays there for 12 months visible, but then indefinitely in my sort of inner metrics f for good. Yeah, completely unjust. It's like completely unjust. So, yeah. Follow-up video, I guess, to, um, to my sales video. I just, ah, I don't know. What would you do? Have you guys had f negative feedback left? What did you do about it? I just find that in this day and age, eBay are just, they're so passionate about favoring the buyer. They've always favored the buyer. And they put this sort of like seller protection nonsense in. But ultimately, when it counts, when we like need to rely on the most, I just feel there's just nothing there. There's just nothing there to just preserve the reputation that I've, and like many people, have taken so long to build up. And when something like this happens, it's just, it just it's crushing, you know? It's such an insignificant bit, isn't it? On the grand scheme of things, it's such an insignificant thing to happen. But it isn't insignificant, is it? It's It's monumental. It's such a small thing, but it, it makes such a difference. At least, like, mentally to me, it just it makes such a difference that somebody has potentially been aggrieved by something I've done, but has made no inroads to try and resolve it. They've just gone for, you know, straight for the jugular negative with just no correspondence. I think that's the most annoying thing. I'm a problem solver. I have like to try and resolve things as best I can. I've just been given no help here i've just been sort of left in the dark to the last minute negative feedback that's it like game over <sighs> so there we go you know you know good things don't last forever and <laughs> unfortunately that that's uh that 100 positive record has been quashed negative feedback let me know let me know if you've had a sort of similar circumstance come your way and how did you try and resolve it maybe you didn't resolve it maybe you tried to but ultimately it failed and you just sort of thought, ah, oh, just take it on the chin and move on. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I am going to have to take it on the chin. I just do not have the time currently to chase eBay customer services and, and goodness knows what else to try and resolve this thing. I just got way too much other things going on in my life. So <sighs> I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know if you've been able to like resolve one of these things before. It's new to me. So it's my first negative ever. It probably won't be the last knowing how people are. All I've done to resolve this situation is just block the buyer. I guess that's kind of all you can do. I've got plenty of other feedback saying how great my service is. I mean, I've got, heck, you know, 1,300 or so positive feedbacks. Now, that one negative feedback shouldn't really make a difference to potential punters on my shop. 
but it just stands out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? Red. Seeing red, just mmm, it just like oh, it just glows, like glows with hatred, doesn't it? On the on the page, it's like an island of hate in like a sea of green, like a forest of green. Probably a better example. It's just really annoying, isn't it? It's just really annoying. Insignificant, like I said, insignificant on the grand scheme of things, but annoying. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Say, so, let me know if you had a similar experience. I just had to make a video. I just had to like get my thoughts off my chest. Hopefully I can relate to some people. That's what this channel is all about. It's relatability in reselling. And yeah, and until the next video, I'll take care and I will see you then. Goodbye.